Ah, uh, yes. It's the holidays. And as the year comes to a close, I decided to make a video that I'm probably going to regret. Look, it's something that we all love doing, but probably hate reflecting on in hindsight. And that is our Toku spending habits. So before starting this channel back up in September 30th, wow, let's see if I can get to 200 subs before the year is over. So yeah, before even starting that video up, obviously, I have already amassed a large collection. And if you've been part of the Toku fandom for any number of years, I don't care if it's been 30 years or 30 days. Chances are, you've either bought some Toku toys or have some sitting in your wish list or a checkout cart on some website right now. That's right, I'm calling you out. Press that buy button. I dare you. I dare you. Press it. Press it. So for this video, what we're going to do is I'm going to look back on uh, the stuff that I've bought this year. And the price that I've paid for them, of course, some of them will probably be some estimates just because I don't have the receipts handy. And at the end, I guess I'll see what my best transaction was out of all of these. So we'll also be looking at some of last year's spending habits in terms of comparison's sake, which obviously I didn't really do stuff on the channel for those things last year uh, because those videos are hidden. Okay, so let's start off with the beginning of the year. So, starting in January, I was still in my 01 kick from 2020. So the first thing that I bought for this year was still riding off the high of all the Progrise keys that I had bought before, and that is the Fi's Progrise key. Purchased this guy off Amazon for $11.18, a pretty good pretty good deal. Now the next thing that I bought was also through Amazon and I believe this was in March that I purchased it and that was the Deca Driver 20th anniversary. Now without taxes this guy cost me $153.69. Well did you know that you could buy Kamen Rider and Toku stuff off GameStop because I did. So this next one I actually purchased last year. Actually, I pre-ordered it and paid it off when I went to pick it up. But this was back in, I believe, April of this year. And that was the Sengoku Driver, the DX one. I know that they had the complete selection modification available as well. But, you know, I wasn't going to spend that kind of money for this and this was 80 bucks. So, look, I'm usually not the biggest fan of statues. I like some articulation. But, you know, ever since I started getting these at GameStop last year as well, well, you know, it kind of becomes habit. So, the Black Ranger statue and Rita Repulsa for $40 each. Right after GameStop, I went ahead and actually had this pre-ordered from Amazon, and it came in. The K-Touch 21. This one was $50. Now, October is my worst month for my Toku spending habits. And why is that? So, there's a convention, an anime convention, that I go to typically in October. Besides spending money on making my cosplays, I went all in in one particular booth. So, here's what I bought. The Revice Driver, the special anniversary edition that was 150 bucks. The Lion and Eagle Vice Stamps, 
that were $35 each, the Terra and Megalodon Vice Stamps that were $45 each, the Grease Ride Watch for $35, Two Kaisers Gear the Linger for $100. See, and you'd think that would be enough, but right after the con was over, I was at the food court at the mall across the street from it, and I decided to go to GameStop, and that's where I found the Lord Said statue that was 60 bucks. And yes, obviously, I bought it. See, now, after the con was over, um, you know... That was some time to recoup my losses, and that's why I decided to not spend that much money right away. So I spent 35 bucks and got the Kamen Rider Kuga Legend Belt, the Argyle, $35. But that's not all, because Two Kaisers Changer got me so wanting to get more Zenkaiger stuff that I got the Gertlinger for $58. Then came Thanksgiving. And, you know, I thought everything was going to be good. Um, but then there was a really good deal that I just couldn't pass up. The Gold Ranger staff from Zio. It was on sale for $84.95. And finally, December, wrapping up the year. Um, there was a Discord post that led me to a store four hours from home. That is where I purchased the Force Driver for $100. And I forgot they had stationary sound sometimes. Now, fast forward to just this past week where my pre-order for the complete selection modification of the altar ring from Agito got canceled from Amazon. So, in my everlasting sadness, I purchased the Zenkaiju gear for $56.99. And actually, right before starting to record this video, I actually got another package in the mail, and that was the Korean reissue of the Build DX driver for $69.99. You know, I haven't even opened this thing yet, so this is gonna double as an unboxing video. A rushed unboxing video. Ooh, it's nicer than I thought it would be. Ooh, look at that. I didn't expect this to be as uh, shiny. We've got all these cranking mechanics recently. This is, uh, it's got some, some heft to it. The one time I only have two AAA batteries. Now let's take a look at these bottles. This is actually my first time uh, seeing their bottles in person. Ooh, they do shake. Hey, the sound effects are the exact same. That's what I figured. I have shelf space! You know, who would have thought that just adding another set of shelves would make my life so much better? So, I originally had this idea for this video um, a few days ago, but yesterday I was gifted a very nice acrylic stand 
by one of my best friends, which gave me some space. So I went ahead and ordered the Mammoth and Kong Vi stamps, and they're coming on Monday. And because I was anticipating this belt from Build coming in, I also bought a set of Build bottles. This will add yet another $77.98 to our total. Oh yeah, and then right after that, I bought uh, two more ProGrise keys. Uh, because after I rearranged everything like I like, I realized there was even more space over here for me to add a couple more ProGrise keys. So, Tiger and Gaim ProGrise keys are on their ways, and that adds another 3347 to my... Oh my god. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, we've got the numbers. Let's crunch them in in real time just to see how, how much okay so we have 1118 plus 80 plus plus one another 80 369 add the 50 for the k touch 21 i was spending so or z for 60 that's 150 plus kuga's 35 35 35 Plus 45, 45. Gear to linger. Four plus 58. another 35. Zen Kaiju gear. Plus 100. Wars driver for 100. Gold Ranger staff. 84, 99.99 for the build DX All this driver. I just bought. And our grand total for 2021's spending habits for Toku is $1,396. And 25 cents. That is not counting tax, and there are a couple of guesstimates on those GameStop prices. But overall, this is the ballpark for <laughs> how much I spent, oh my god, in 2021. So, just a quick recap of what was purchased last year. So, just very quickly Kabuto Progrise Key for 3126 owes memory memory. For eighteen sixteen, the lost driver for sixty nine fifty three, shot riser, fifty nine seventy six, thousand driver, sixty dollars, ride watch dizer, twenty seventy two, walls driver bundle for eighty nine ninety nine, zero one driver for sixty seven seventy four, zionizer eighty. Red Ranger Helmet, 80. White Ranger Helmet, 80. The Statues of the Red, Green, and White Rangers for $50 each. Saba and the Dragon Dagger. Well, Saba actually got the steal of a deal for 20 It was clearance. Don't judge me. And the Dragon Dagger was 80 bringing last year's total to 906 66 so I spent like $500 more than I did in 2020. Looking back at everything I purchased this past year, which item is my favorite amongst them all? It's like picking between your kids, it's terrible. It's gotta go to the Gold Ranger staff. So obviously, Zio has a very special place in my heart, especially the Gold Ranger being probably my favorite Ranger design ever. Uh, so the fact that I got this for half off its regular price was an incredible find. So it was a really great deal on top of just being surprised with the size of just how big this thing is and you know i've got other legacy collection uh power rangers toys but this one by far is my favorite next to saba this is my favorite of 2021 my wallet's really gonna hate next year 
All right, so that was my 2021 spending habits. What were yours? Did you spend a stupid amount of money this year? And what was the most expensive thing that you ended up getting? What was your favorite purchase of 2021? And what are you looking forward to next year? Or rather, what is your wallet not looking forward to next year? For me, I already have a couple of pre-orders lined up, such as Lord Zed's helmet. Yeah. As well as if I can get my hands on the Gokaiger reissue uh, mobile rights, that's definitely going to be a purchase. All the Rider belts! Anyway, that's it for me. I will do another one of these videos probably next year if I am still doing YouTube. <laughs> anyway, that's it for me. I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and get some nice Toku swag from under the tree. See ya.